Hey there everyone, this is Saint Destiny with another review and a new camera. This time reviewing the HCM Pro Special Painted Gundam Exia. Now this is the 1200 um, High Complete Model Progressive Exia. So yeah, it's almost like the well a figure. It's not an actual model kit. Um, I'm right. If I'm right, it's kind of similar to like the ro ro robot Namashi things. Uh, so on the front, you can see. I'll just lift the camera up a little. You can see Exia in its case, along with all his accessories scattered around him. I have opened this before. That's why not all the accessories are visible. Uh, kind of like the front. Like the digitized art there. Okay, turn to the side, get that digi digitized art again. To the back, see a few splash photos. And you can also see that there's the other celestial beam normal suits there as well. Shame we don't get like the GM particle effect in this. And to the side, you'll just get the product number. Okay, let's open this baby up. And this is Exia free from his box. And as you can see, he is a little guy. But aside from that, he is very, very nice looking. I love the paint job that's on him. And the details that he's got is pretty sweet. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's test this new camera capability, shall we? Now, there is text on his, um, well, I guess that's the GN Drive housing or something. Let's see if... Barely coming up. Alright. Yeah. Uh, no idea what it says. Probably it says something like, I don't know, um, GN 001 Gundam X here, whatever. Um, yeah, it's not quite clear green plastic, but it's green and shiny, as well as all the other colours on this kit. Everything's all metallic. Uh, it's more of this, um, what would be white is more of a silvery grey rather than a shiny white. Yeah. Everything that was flat is all metallic colored. Um, unfortunately, it's not really a big issue, but these rubber parts aren't metallic. But at least they're rubbery. Okay. Oh yes, and the reason why he's got a shield on is because I tested putting it on, and I can't get it off again. So I'm going to leave that on there. I'll be displaying it with the shield on anyway. So. Uh, one thing to note, there's no waste articulation. So, that's the only downside I can see so far. Let's see if there's any more. photos of him in poses, so judge articulation there. It is a little stiff, but it doesn't feel fragile when you move it. It just needs a little coaxing to get the joints going. There's a little bit of toe articulation as well. so slightly really gonna just get side to side. Okay. Right, 
around. Oh, it was a quick, very quick look at accessories. Um, articulation, sorry. Now we're getting on to accessories. And he comes with a, quite a whole bunch. A couple of them on, on trees. Like uh, the silver one. Comes with an extra V-fin. The, the V-fin he has at the moment is rubbery. But they give you a um, stiff one in case you don't like the rubber one. Me, I'm kind of happy with the rubber one. Just in case it will fall off somewhere. At least I won't have to worry about it getting damaged. Just like he did there. Okay. Uh, the other parts I'll get. Well, that were on a tree I'll get to later. Uh, on his back, he has his uh, sword beam saber handles. Four of them in total. And yes, they are removable. Sort of. Here we go. Uh, no extra beams, though. Oh well. But he does come with two beam sabers. One long, one short. This is more of a beam dagger, I guess, than this is a traditional beam saber. I like the colour. It's not it's not transparent, but it has that sort of feel to it. Translucent, I'm guessing that, that's the word. But it has this fluorescent sort of pink feel. I really like that. You can really s I can imagine if this was all dark, you'd probably still be able to get a good glimpse off of it. Yeah, you come with those two. Too sure what these are called to tell the truth. GN sword, GN dagger. Um, yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Okay. Obviously the shield. And his last weapon. I'm guessing it's the GN sword. It's called. I'm not sure, but it's also got like a magnum, beam magnum sort of thing. And yes, swings out, attaches to his hand just fine. I think it, yeah it does. This shield part sort of moves. It's got a little handle down there so it can use it as, as rifle mode. If you call that a rifle. <laughs> okay. Put that to the side for a quick second. I'll get back to an accessories on later. No. The other parts that were on this tree were extra thigh pieces, you can say. Now these are for to store the GM dagger and GM sword on his waist. So let's give that a go now. Came off easy. Not too easy, but off well enough and went on just as well. Cool. So it's just a matter of seeing that groove there, getting your nail or whatever in there. Is it done? I know it might sound silly me giving instructions like that, but there might you know, someone out there might do something wrong somewhere. These thigh parts did come in two separate pieces. Um, one piece was this long part you clip on, and the other one was this ball, part of the circular bit. Now, even though both sides look the same, there is a specific way to put these on because there's a peg facing upwards. Can't really just about see that peg there. That's to peg into the saws to hold them in place. Okay. Right. So now that we've got those. Sorry about that, it's a bit more tricky than I thought. Okay, let's carry on, shall we? You get extra hands, half closed fist, and these are for the holding the other weapons. So let's quickly put this on. 
sorry if this is a little rushed. I'm trying to make reviews shorter. Okay. this round. That goes into the hole in his arm. Oh, and that sword just came on. Okay. And in his other hand, I shall put the other close fist. I have, haven't I? <laughs> One second. And I've made a boo boo. And we're back. And I've went ahead and put a beam saber in his hand. But yeah, I really like the way it looks. Um, doesn't hold all its accessories. There is a few some left over, but I've got somewhere to keep those. Um, but all in all, not a bad little guy. Uh, got this from HLJ.com. It was on sale for. I think 1260 yen. Uh, I, I just know that it cost me like 10 quid to get it. It was on sale, 70% off. But yeah, I was really pleased with it. Oh, and I must also mention the instruction booklet. Even though it's a simple little figure, it's pretty decent. The Celestial Beam logo there. Inside, quick look at parts. On the back, colour photos. Yeah, short, sweet, and simple. That's how I try to keep this review. Oh, parts are falling off there. But yeah, um, not probably something that most people would look into. Only get this if it's like really on sale. Uh, but if you do get it, it's a nice little, nice little figure. I wouldn't call it a model because it's not quite a model. It's, it's an action figure. Oh yes, and I must mention, kind of an extra accessory, the packaging. There we go. Let's see if I can actually get this balanced right. glittery, shiny background. And when it was displayed in the box, it was around about here. So you, if you did this right, you could recreate like a GM part called Full Burst, Trans Am, whatever it's called. <laughs> so like, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, let us know if you liked it short and sweet. The swords come off again. Uh, Next up will be a bunch of photos showing the cool poses. Oh, 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 oh. Almost forgot. Size comparison. Right, this is a 1 to 200 scale. It's comparing to a 1 to 144 average mobile suit. Yeah. The little guy right. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, take care, bye. Hey guys, quick thing to note. Um, I've noticed that if you put the GN swords on his side skirts, it reduces the amount of articulation in his legs, so it won't go out as far. Um, not much difference, but it will make them pop off, so that was one of the main reasons this one was popping off. Something to look out for.